Hi, Dhyaneshwar. How are you? Yes, I am fine. Okay. So many, many congratulations for getting a job in a testing field finally from non-IT to IT. So how are you feeling? Yes, uh, thank you. And yeah, really feeling better because uh, at the very beginning, I'm very confusing or like uh, how will I get job in IT field because I have uh, non-IT background. And in non-IT, still I have a degree in BA. So because I have observed uh, outside in market, so whether it, you are in non-IT background, so if you have a BCom or other BAM degree, so it's still considerable for testing. But most of time, if you are having a simple BA, Bachelor of Arts, so it's too much ignorable. So, so that is a little bit confusion uh, I having in start. So better finding outside, I have tried to switch in my company. So I talked with HR about this, I am switching in IT. So if any vacancy is there, then let me know. So yes, they have vacancy for IT testing, software testing. So they schedule my interview. So there are three rounds. So last round is HR round. It's not that much important. We, all we know HR round is only for salary negotiation and all part. So basically two rounds are there. First is technical round and the second is uh, project manager round. Uh, manager round. So first technical round conducted by senior tester uh, from my company. And, and so after that second round conducted by project manager, senior project manager. So each first round uh, they have asked me uh, 10 to 15 questions. So very first starting from, uh, tell me uh, about you, introduction questions, tell me about you, and uh, what points come to excitement or interested to come in uh, IT or switching IT from long four years experience in non-IT. So what things you have choose to, it comes in IT. And after that, uh, the technical questions start from, uh, the objective of software testing and uh, types of software testing, functional, non-functional. And after that, uh, he asked uh, full SDLC, uh, all phases of SDLC model, and uh, also asked a waterfall model, uh, short description of waterfall or V model. And after that, he asked uh, software testing life cycle questions uh, and uh, levels of testing. Uh, in levels of testing, he asked, uh, explain the integration uh, testing with uh, three approaches, all three approaches. And after that, come to the uh, bugs and defect point. He asked bug life cycle and uh, Three small questions like, what is deferred state? Uh, what is uh, fault masking? Uh, and I'm not answerable for fault masking because I don't know the fault masking. So that one questions, uh, I, I, I skipped that first question. And again, ask uh, defect cascading. So what is defect ca cascading and all? And after that, come to the priority and severity uh, topic. He asked who uh, decide priority, who decide severity. Uh, and yes, uh, that's it. That's all uh, asking first technical round. Okay, okay. So, uh, so you had two technical rounds and you were already working in that company as a non-IT, in non-IT department. Now today you have been shifted to IT department in the field of testing. So what, what questions were asked in the second round? Uh, second round, he, uh, project manager, uh, first of all, he uh, asked me why you have to choose IT field. So if it is a reason for salary issue or financial issue, so I can, you know, uh, handle your situation with a discussion with your manager and also like I'm 
so i am giving answer like no it's not only about salary issue but because i am not uh, practically enjoying my work uh, at the end of the day i'm not satisfied with my uh, whole task so i j- and i am very uh, techy person i am techy interestable person so i would like to you know work in a technology interest area so and analysis and all these parts i have to work with logic so it will like uh, feel like we are actively working on this some task so so he will uh, like okay you are good and after he asking like uh, situational best questions like he asking if you have any bug or defect but the developer not accepting the defect so what's your uh, action for this so uh, i am giving answer like uh, if you not accepting defect so we have test cases for requirements so like we have uh, traceability matrix okay, what requirements related to what test cases so if i have a def- uh, defect from specific test cases so i'll show to developer that this test case is belong to this requirement so it is important and again he not accepting that defect so i can uh, proceed this concert to my senior member that's it and he asking uh, uh, smoke testing sandy testing and irrigation testing mm-hmm. that's it. this is a perfect answer so for how many years were you doing non it job uh it's four years four years so four years of non it and now moving to it yeah it's little bit difficult <laughs> decision for me to switch because all things have to change in uh, when switching it field because i have to start from first as a fresher in it field mm. so so how did you do this preparation yeah actually uh, i already uh, i have joined class offline class for software testing in april month and also uh, actually i my decision was changed to fail in it was actually due to my wife because uh, uh, my wife in software testing fail so ha uh, so she explained me what is software testing and you can also do it even though you are not in it field you can also do it what things are in software testing so it will you know boost my confidence to take the decision and so i prepare and also uh, i'm giving you a mock interview to you and you help me mock interview so you also you know help me to how to explain switching from non it to it what points we have to uh, explain or what point we should not have to explain so it lot help it helps me a lot great great okay so uh, you joined an offline course right but how much time did you to, to prepare for testing did you prepare for automation as well yeah uh, automation testing is ongoing my course is ongoing for automation like uh, recently i completed with core java and started with selenium web driver okay and how much time did you took to prepare for manual testing uh for interview preparation yeah interview preparation and yeah. uh, you know end to end knowledge of on testing how much time did you took uh hardly one month one and a half month okay so in one one and a half month you were able to Uh, you know get confidence on testing itself yes okay so did you make any changes or you would have made some changes to your cv right so yes sir yes. yeah so did you kept that non it experience also as it is and then the testing experience or now you are just keeping the testing experience no i am kept my Previous experience also because uh, sometimes whether it is from non IT but it will boost my like uh, uh, work attitude or you know 
it's most of things like uh, for a communication purpose or very things lots of things i learn in mint my marketing field so it will help me to do better in future because uh, i have seen in testing if you grow two year to three year four five years experience in testing so you, you not like continue as a only tester you have to develop in communication uh, uh, lead the team managing all things so it will beneficial for a long lasting future in testing Okay. Okay. So, what is your piece of advice to the people, to the community who are looking for a change in the job from non-IT to IT? You know, I'm getting lot of emails, lot of comments on my channel. They want to shift from non-IT to IT. So, what is the piece of advice that you would like to give to them? Yes. Uh, actually, uh, rather than development, I have many people uh, see uh, they try to uh, switch in development also. So uh, rather the development of testing field is uh, not uh, testing is that much easy as a logical things, but testing is uh, you know uh, very conventional for switching field in IT rather than development and. Uh, if some person can uh, look yourself in, uh, uh, we are doing great in logical work. We are doing great in analysis. Of person have capabilities to like uh, checking all things or correcting things. Okay, or it means uh, the, if they have uh, a vision to see the any product or to see the product at depth level. If they have an interest area for to checking the product or, or you know, do analysis. So it is good that people to change in a IT in a software testing field, because I have seen many people, uh, like from a BCom background and other background, they are uh, confusing whether we have to change in IT or we uh, kept our four years experience and better finding any. Uh, opportunities after uh, or we have to do in MBA in our non-IT field and go with the other managerial post or other uh, senior post or we have to change in IT. So my uh, my suggestion is going to IT is every time better than doing MBA and go to the other post because uh, nowadays we have seen after uh, Corona or pandemic situation it is uh, on a very boost level because nowadays we have uh, see each and everything are uh, uh, shopping on online each and everything uh, vegetables also each and everything so a uh, pandemic situation change everything in it field and the demands in it is uh, day by day increasing if software development field is increased, developer is increased, then tester, demand for tester is also increased. So I have suggestion to like do for software testing. Right, right. So what advice would you give to people? How should they prepare for testing? What all things they should learn if they want to switch their field from non-IT to IT? Uh, yes. <clears throat> Uh, it depends on like uh, uh, two kinds of people. One has a very much grasping points, uh, grasping capacity for uh, learning new things very uh, fastly. But then some uh, second kind of people, they, uh, they have so uh, slow learning. So for those people, they better to join offline class so they can learn a slowly process because offline class is very slow process. Uh, definitely, 100% sure, very slow process. And if you learn from online class, online videos, because there are many YouTube videos on software testing, there are many tutors on soft, uh, YouTube, they are coaching free also. Uh, many of them, they have uh, uh, paid to tutorial also, but they are not that much costly as compared to offline class, but offline class is those people who are in slow or those people have 
tendency to learn only when someone facing uh, physically attend you or physically uh, explain you <laughs> or some people have not that much uh, requirement of physical explanation if they have any short videos or they can learn things so uh, better start with uh, some websites are there on google so learn uh, some software testing basic and uh, do search on youtube also and yes uh, i have seen many videos of your channel so your channel has also a very short and simple explanation of each and small small term because uh, after you after take uh, giving mock interview to you uh, i have seen your channel for severity and parity points and i have seen your severe uh, explanation of severity and parity so it helps me a lot to understand what actually severity and what actually parity so every time uh, someone asks me what is severity parity so i am giving two three lines explanation and now i got to know severity parity is only how soon we will check or what impact on application and that is a simple term in explanation so these youtube videos have learned lots of things in simple way and uh, nowadays many companies not uh, demanding any certification i have seen because uh, while switching in my company also i am giving interview for outside also for second uh, option so many companies not asking me certification for that they, they just uh, uh, asking whether you have knowledge of or sdlc stlc models and uh, how to write test cases how to uh, or sometime many companies uh, asking whether you have knowledge of tools tracking to bug tracking tools wagere so uh, it's better to learn online things all these things or practice every day uh, if you practice uh, twice in a week or uh, three days in a week that is enough to like uh, prepare in two months for some for mandatory as a fresher not experience level as a fresher there are not that much asking you in interview questions hardly 10 to uh, 12 question ask you in interview so that all questions can be prepared in one two months by uh, learning uh, online on inter- youtube channels or not taking notes from interview uh, from uh, youtube channels or many uh, linkedin posts are there many uh, linkedin uh profiles are there they are posting their uh, handmade notes on uh, linkedin feed so we download that we taking some notes from that so that's all thing so if and if uh, companies if asking certifications and then uh, you can do online uh, tut- uh, tutorials or uh, uh, within a budget hide- hardly taking Uh, 500 to 1000 for certification so you can do certification but i'm not uh, you know advising illegal like uh, you are not doing all things and uh, making fake certification i'm not advising that illegal part great great so thank you so much uh, dhaneshwar it was so good to have you right and uh, may you you know keep on growing and may you be successful in your career in this testing career right so thank you so much and once again many many congratulations to you yeah. thank you thank you okay thank you okay bye, bye.